Oshiha Himmer, Jake Luke Lissiha Alopanach, Melanie Woods, and the race of Car Kaila, as Joey Tupash, and the Davilus of Hoch Jake. I acquired an injury kind of three years ago, just over three years ago, um, which meant I now use a wheelchair full time. So that kind of really opened my eyes into the world of disability sport and, you know, kind of looking at all these different sports that I had probably seen before, but hadn't really thought about um, and now it's kind of just an opportunity to get involved try different things um, and after yeah doing a, few, a number of sports wheelchair racing was was the one that kind of um, grabbed me and to be honest I just kind of committed I committed wholeheartedly and um, yeah a few years on I'm, I'm still working away at it. Va Melanie Chut Hollichu, Gros Bars has a bear, see Moch just an earth as I give on a horse of here max and spars. The first time I actually competed, um, you know, I was by no means a talent or very good at all. I was in a chair that didn't, the steering didn't work in it very well. So to, to be honest, my first experience was probably funny, if anything. Um, but I guess it was just a bit of a thrill to be back competing and doing sport again because for me at one point I thought that would have been taken away from me so it was just exciting and at no point was I looking at it like oh this is going to be you know elite sport for me at that point you know I could barely push the chair so um it's definitely made me proud I'm proud of like how much I've committed to it and and, uh, and how much I've achieved I've really shown myself what hard work um, can achieve and how far that can take me so yeah I guess if anything it's definitely made me proud of of my resilience and my, my commitment to it. Colleghdi Luke Lacey Hinella who covered boy is Melanie and be a fat bishak jay for Takertusen a chlech gie an unyashin is on barach trenig. Obviously throughout the summer of 2020 um, everything started to get cancelled now, at first, that was like, that was actually a bit of a relief for me so early on in the sport, like any more time to do training and to get better, like was totally valued in my opinion. So I kind of just took that as let's get back to, to working away at getting better at this because ultimately, like I'm so fresh, so new to it. And then I guess, um, yeah, as time went on, it was just about like, okay, like looking forward to when a race is going to appear and, and when can we yeah, when can we start getting entered? So, um, it, I mean, it definitely made things challenging in terms of facilities. And, you know, I was in my garage for the whole of winter on my own with a leak and no electricity. So, honestly, at points I was like, is, what am I doing with my life? Like, why am I doing this to myself? But I guess, like, yeah, getting the call up for Tokyo, that kind of made the grim nights in the garage worth it. Karo Melanie and Dool the Ain gonna get me in Paralympic and a Tokyo call of this cup of racing. A Gajera fires on Karam Shinogalaka. Well, first of all, I was shocked. I, I didn't, it wasn't on the plan. It wasn't something that I thought would happen. Um, but when I got the call, I was, yeah, I was just like completely shocked. I, I was probably, um, I was probably the most like subdued reaction to a, a, an Olympic, a Paralympic call up that anyone's ever had. And just because I was like, is it real? Is it not real? So um, I, th- I guess as soon as it sunk in, it was just, it was just excitement. It was just like, oh my goodness. Like I, I, I didn't know that that would be possible in three years time at Paris. So to have achieved it at this point, I was like, I just need to grab this. I need to enjoy it. I need to soak it up. And, yeah, it's a big buzz to even be part of it. Carton Unia, like Melanie, howl in the Tokyo, the Akamor, Agatha Fiakan, the Ihena Vokuk, Sonaring Action, and Kutcher, the Sarlu, Hlesichin. It's overwhelming. It was absolute chaos. It was so many countries, athletes, so many sports. And yeah, when I say I tried to soak it all up, that's, I guess that's what I did. But sometimes it was hard because there was just so much going on everywhere you looked. Um, it was nice to, we had a holding camp beforehand, so it was nice to kind of settle into that and get some good training done and uh, work with like some of the other athletes in British Athletics that you might not usually get to, to work with. So that was, that was really enjoyable. And then when we hit the village, it was just, the athlete village was just, it was madness. Um, yeah, as I said, and, but at the same time, it was just such a buzz. Like you could see yeah you're just seeing so many different in a world where I'm usually or I feel like 
I'm a minority in terms of my disability and, and out in society. Like you go to a Paralympic athlete village and you feel like you're part of this crazy world of amazing people. And to be honest, like I can't, I can't even put it into words what that feels like. So, so yeah, it was just an experience of a life. A Melanie Mochchal is a hulashi and a height colon of Sidriaka Kisho, as he called the third Sanarut, Haraipa, Sehimert Spars. It, it allows me to think about, yeah, what I can, what I can achieve, and um, I guess I'm reminded of the, the real challenges I've been faced with in terms of not just my disability, but within sport, like trying or venturing out in something new has been so challenging, but I guess. It's exciting to be able to share that with people and um, and remind others of, of you know what you can overcome if you put your mind to it. So yeah, I guess it's there's a lot of emotions there. It's definitely been up and down, but uh, but yeah, like so many positives, which yeah, I can't complain about. So after Tokyo, I mean Paris is definitely in my sights. Paris 2024. That's something that I now know I can achieve. I can get there. So it's just about like what can I achieve when I get there. And um, yeah, the next couple of years are going to be exciting. Next year, there's the Commonwealth Games, potentially in Birmingham, and there's also a World Championship back in Japan. So, um, so yeah, I guess it's just like put in a winter of work, continue to get better, and see see where that lands me next year. Which, uh, yeah, it just fills me with excitement. <laughs>